Hello and welcome back. We, uh, we've got an upgrade for the fish room today. I'll show you in just a minute. First we'll just have a look at how everyone's doing. As you can see, things of peace has been restored. I've just fed them. There's food on the ground, including blood worms. Everybody's just getting what they need. Nobody's upset. Regular, normal, what you want, discus behavior. Angel fish are doing their doing their thing. Tanks looking immaculate. A couple weeks in now. No signs of disease. Skeletor is at him. Has gained significant weight. Is that Skeletor or is that Skeletor? I believe this one is Skeletor. So his head's starting to fatten up. He's looking really nice. And a little food banter. He just likes to eat and he eats all day. So he's on the mend. And I guess I've just given away my upgrade. It's over here. Ta -da! Another 70 gallons. So, um, I still need a little bit of equipment for it. I need a heater, uh, maybe a can canister filter, and good to go. I could probably put a hang on back with that one, but it's not drilled out, so I'm not going to run a sump on this one. Uh, and yeah, we'll see how much better a tank runs without a sump or vice versa. So, uh, definitely got some plans for this tank. Um, not 100% on them, so I won't really bring them up right now. But, um, yeah, we're just getting her, getting her cycled. I'm running, uh, I'm running these, uh, floating bed filters. That I had in the discus tank in there they're already seated with bacteria and, I, and then I've used some uh, I've used some uh, additive bacteria and dechlorinated it and all that good stuff so we're just gonna let her run and in the future we'll have some upgrades going on in relation to that and I, I you know sort of made a light for it and uh, wall mounted light and yeah, so that's the upgrade for the fish room for now. This is my fish kitchen, but it's where the floor is strongest in my house. My house is very old, and my living room and other rooms that I could use, I could even dedicate a bedroom to this, but uh, the tanks will go through the floor. This, they didn't build, this house was built before building codes, and the joists are far apart, and it's got high wood, hardwood just installed right over them. Um, it's very flexible, so as soon as the weight uh, would go on the tanks, they would uh, they would lean, and there would be catastrophe. So yeah, it's the um, it's the fish kitchen, unfortunately. Uh, but this kitchen was built to hold those big, heavy-duty cast iron stoves, and it's. The floor in here is just absolutely solid, so uh, not a problem. Best place to put these big tanks in my house, other than the basement, which gets pretty cold. Um, if I expand further, uh, I'll be building a uh, a rack in the basement uh, for breeding purposes down the road. And for now, we're just going to start with these two big boys, and I'll probably put maybe a couple ten gallons or two cans and a twenty down there. I could fit probably a good four. Four tens on that bottom rack, and uh, yeah, that'll be short-term expansion, and then long-term expansion, I'll move into the basement and build build some insulated walls and such. But for now, we continue growing out the discus and crossing our fingers that everything is going to continue to go as smoothly as it has. Please, God, no plagues, because I live in Canada, and getting meds 
is literally a trip to a vet, which is astronomically, well, the meds are expensive enough. Oh, my sidekick's here, Mr. Greg. Hello, Mr. Greg, come say hi. Oh, hello. Yes, hello. Meow. Meow. Say hello to everyone. That's Mr. Greg. I guess I'll let you go because Greg's just going to scream at me and that's probably annoying. But I uh, just wanted to give you an update. A quick little couple minute update on what's been happening. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.